David, it's lovely to meet you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, thank you for bringing Collateral Beauty into my life. Uh, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Loved you. it, in fact. Thank you. Um, you did make me bawl my eyes out, though, probably about 10 times, and I left Whoa. the cinema mortified. <laughs> um, it's not the first time you've done that either, though. Marley and me yeah. also is a tearjerker. Yes. Why would you like making us cry? <laughs> you know, I, what I like is making movies that are um, that are about people and, mm. and uh, you know, not about superheroes, not about violence. And, um, you know, I, I like movies that make us laugh and cry. And, you know, that's, for me, that's the human condition. And, and I think if you're going to go spend, uh, you know, your hard-earned money in the, at the cinema, you should um, have an emotional ride that's really powerful. Yeah, and I think that's the most important thing to connect with the movie because I also loved the fact that, and I don't want to give anything away, it left me questioning what happened. It makes yeah. me want to go back and watch it again and look yeah. for things. Yeah. And I think that all compassing in a movie is just fantastic because it really draws you in. Yeah, I mean, it was surprising that we you know, could end a movie with that kind of mm -hmm. quest those that many questions yeah. um, and uh and you'll see if you ever see it again that there is you know it is really rich uh, you know you can enjoy the movie even when you know the, the story oh no i'll be back out to see it don't worry <laughs> um now i heard a rumor that hugh jackman yes. was lined up to play a character at um he was lined up to play howard at one point That's with nice. a different it was a different director and um the the whole the movie was in pre production and then for personal reasons I think Hugh had to drop out and and uh, and eventually that version of the production fell apart and um, Will came in we got Will and uh, and then 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 they got me you know so um, fantastic best decision I'd say because it turned out fantastically uh, now another person I heard a rumor about is Helen Mirren yeah. but for a different role. So I heard that she was in the running to play the Devil Wears Prada main role. You know, I'm not. I have no idea how that rumor started. <laughs> that is, you know, usually I like to say, "Oh, well, all rumors are true." That rumor is completely false. Strangely, okay. you know, it's not <laughs> not that she couldn't have, because obviously she could have. But yeah. um, but Meryl was always the first choice. So, okay, yeah. perfect. Would you ever see yourself doing um, like a sequel to that in some form, Devil Wears Prada? You know, we've talked about it, mm -hmm. uh, but if we, you know we. It's such a special movie, mm -hmm. and uh, I think all of us feel like it would be a huge risk. Uh, we might dilute okay. what was special about it, so we're content to leave it alone. But it's not a no. I'm it's a no. Okay, yeah. it's a no. Okay, it's a no. Enough. Well, it wouldn't. You know, I don't think it would involve Meryl. And okay, I think, yeah, yeah. And I, and I don't think that you could do anything related like to Prada without her. That's very true. Anything lined up in the pipeline that mightn't be in the press yet for you? Um, <laughs> no, you know, I'm just going to go home and chill out in Miami. Brilliant. So for yeah. Uh, Christmas? Yeah. Any plans apart from the obvious Santa Claus? Um, you know, sit by the pool, play a little golf. That's amazing. Yeah. Is that what you do at Christmas? Yeah. Just don't you? Just have turkey. Well, I don't have a pool or a golf. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so you go to like... I live in Miami. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we, yeah, it's, you know, That's eight, class. 80 degrees and sunny there now. That's amazing. But you still have a roast turkey? We do, you know, we roast turkeys, we smoke turkeys, we, you know, um, yeah, we do it all. Okay. Um, if there's any movie you could, past or present, pro present is probably, a future is probably hard, but past that you would have loved to direct, what would it be? Okay, I mean, this is going to sound really odd, but um, uh, City of God. Okay. Yeah, the Brazilian film, from, from An Fernando Morales. Yeah, I thought it was um, just a... G gorgeous, powerful, original, uh, brilliant. Yeah. Um, well, listen, I like I can't speak highly about Clatter Beauty, and it comes out on St. Stephen's Day in Ireland, and I know that everyone's going to be lining up to see it, and Great. I'll be first in I hope so. Thank you so much. Thank you. And best luck the rest of it. Great to see you. He's reaching out to the cosmos for answers. There's so much more at stake here than you even understand. been given a gift. This profound connection to everything. Just look for it. I promise you, it's there. The collateral beauty.